presents the Endurance Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Transmission. Welcome back to the Irwin Tools Endurance Countdown. I'm Grant Rowley from speedcafe.com. I've got two aces from faraway places, Jack Perkins and Chris Jewell. Today we're talking about the number 12 Triple F racing entry of Dean Fiore and Michael Patrizzi. Now, one of the few single car teams, Chris Jewell, that's going to enter the two endurance races, they're probably not going to trouble the top five, but that's not to say they can't get a good result. Oh look, I think they can. It's sound equipment, isn't it? But it is a small team and you have to be realistic about your aspirations at the mountain. I would have thought that if they made it inside the top ten, they'd be clapping pretty loudly. Inside the top five would feel like it was a championship win, let alone a Bathurst win. But uh, if they just keep their noses clean and uh, do what they need to do out on track, perhaps late race they could be vying for top ten or on the outskirts of the top ten. Now Jack, one factor for Fiori's teammate Michael Petruzzi is that he'll be competing in the Carrera Cup championship and on the mountains as well. That makes for a busy weekend. It does. Michael's been doing a pretty good job in the Carrera Cup this year and the extra laps at the track will only help his cause with Dean and you know those guys w went pretty well last year. Michael was quick in the co-driver sessions and you know they'd be thrilled with a top 10 um, but I know the car's been struggling with a bit of straight line handling this year so the big straights at the mountain might uh, slow them up a bit. Speedcafe.com caught up with both Fiori and Petruzzi at Queensland Raceway. So Dean, what's a realistic expectation for Triple F Racing in the two endurance races? Uh, I think going by last year, pretty good, definitely at Phillip Island. Uh, we had really good speed um, there last year. Uh, we got a few things going along um, in the background to try and help our speed as well. Um, so hopefully that comes to fruition prior to then. And uh, yeah, we can have a good showing because the car was really, really good there. Um, Michael did a fantastic job. Uh, I think we finished 14th or something, but um, we were running in the 10 for most of the race. So looking forward to Phillip Island especially. And um, if I don't crash it at Bathurst, then we should finish well there as well. I think we've got a very good chance of running in the top 10. Um, we have to be realistic about it. But the best part about Dean and I as a partnership is that we're very equal. And I think that'll be our strong point. Um, a lot of guys that are at the front, the fast guys, have not, not so much a weak uh, endurance driver, but there's a big difference in time and there's a, more of an opportunity for, for a mistake. So I think from our point of view, we've got a good chance to be in the top 10. And certainly Phillip Island last year for us was very strong. And Bathurst, well, you have an accident, you have an accident, it's going to happen to everyone. That was Fiori and Petruzzi. I'm Grant Rowley. I've got these two clans with me. And this is the Irwin Tools Endurance Countdown. More tomorrow. When you've got a job to do and not much time to do it, you can't beat Irwin Groove Lock Pliers. With an innovative press and slide button, they are just twice as fast as a regular pair of multi-grips. Irwin Tools.